the um, and what I'm going to do is click capture so we're recording, right? Okay. <laughs> and now oh, we hey should folks. be recording. Hey folks, <laughs> you must be here if uh, I just heard capture getting clicked. All right, so I'm the Sirius JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. And uh, when last you joined us, we were testing the capture card to see if it worked, and it looks like it did. So you guys are going to have the privilege of watching us spend 45 minutes to an hour losing to Super Akuma before stumbling into a win. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. It's uh, Capcom versus SNK2 Market Millennium 2001. Yes, and we are using Sagat and Homeru. I'm playing a Sagat, Sirius JG is playing as Homeru. These guys are good for plowing through the regular guys and then are too slow to fight Super Kuma particularly well. Well, I mean, they do a lot of damage per hit. They're not bad. But when he says, I'm playing as uh, Homeru, that's only if he doesn't beat Super Kuma on the first try. Although, as you can see, Super Kuma tends to uh, shake off Dizzy's before you can even throw. He's got the K groove, which means he could go for Raging Demon. The computer doesn't usually like to do that. Does enough damage with its other stuff. There's no point. I have no issue whatsoever with stitching these together when you beat him on the first try. Do not worry about that. Oh. Now I gotta try. Sorry, I was trying to go for a super fireball. See, I hate this. He's done He's done more than half, so now it's yes, it, now it really is on me. Up. That's true. I felt like I was whooping his ass, but of course, since he's times four, it doesn't actually count for that much. See? No, you didn't get out of the game, which will happen against Super Akuma because he is able to pretty relentlessly drop down hits, and you can't just block them all. Of course, there's block meters in this game. Um, even if, you know, Dark Energy is invincible. Well, we probably shouldn't even be trying then, should we? <laughs> we should just, uh, I'm give just, in. Uh, uh, because I dark hate, energy I hate it when Bobo carries more than his half, and I, I hate it so much. Okay. Only way to come back now is to either storm through all on my own or take it even farther than Bobo without before I lose. Omru just isn't well. You, ne you never know. It doesn't take that many hits with him, but it's very tough to connect with Omru. It's too freaking slow. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially since Akuma just showed you that he has the ability to kick Homeru's sword to damage Homeru. <laughs> yeah, I made it. I, I. You put a dent. No, he's going to get almost all that back. Uh, problem is, my, I'm all about using fierces with the homeroom because of the range. He ends yes. up hitting you then with the fireball. You got to just use. The you got to switch off to something faster. And I can't do it. Like my instincts kick in. Nice. I'm going to sound like such a piss ant if I start saying, "Oh, well, Sagat's better against bosses than a homeroom." Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay, so, well, together we got him down half. Our best ever performance against Super Akuma was when I was playing as Yuri and you were playing as Athena. And they are not known for high damage hits. <laughs> They're known for being quick. Yep. That was, I, I think you, I was Yuri and you were Athena. Maybe I just I remember was, somebody I, connected I with... Being a yeah, you connected with her super. super got, yeah, it was basically a... a the look. first time we fought Rugal. Uh, it was a dramatic KO finish. Oh no, it wasn't against Akuma. It was against Akuma. It was against Ultimate. Yeah. But folks, just just for the record, I think Akuma is Super Akuma is tougher than Ultimate Rugal. They're both pretty tough. He's got End Groove. Don't let him get to Power Max mode. Oh, that's BS right there. Well, I probably shouldn't have just tried to trip him out of that, but uh, I was getting lost well anyways. Be careful, he could go into power max mode at any time. He's in end group. No, he needs one more uh, thingy. Damn it. Oh, come on! Yeah, you go airborne and he hits your sword. I hate that. I hate that. Yeah. So it's, much. It's it's real dumb. I mean, he's got a hitbox, I guess, that concludes his sword. Yeah, it, then he streams online with it. He plays for free online. He plays for free, my lord. He's now the lord of dark energy, or whatever. See, now I'm like, oh, we're coming closer to beating him than I expected this early. And it's not down to me. But I want to try to beat him fast enough so we can stitch it together in one video. Be nice. 
Ah, I should have jabbed. Man, what is this throws, dude? That was. I was. <laughs> I'm just dark energy. I mean, it's just I, dark I, energy. He but. missed, and I was trying to do my fierce, and I did the uppercut up close fierce, and I was like, no, I wanted the regular fierce. That would have hit him, and it wouldn't have. It's not that would have turned the tide, but. Uh, is it too late to change our groove to level 3 Sagat? I really think there's a couple of these where you've. You've done enough that if you were level 3 instead of 2, you would have won. What the hell was that? Oh, he's got a sliver left. Yeah. But, um, I did my double hit. Uh, oh, and he did I did, my, I did my double hit uh, yeah, roundhouse kick. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, he did double quick block so that he could also throw an air fireball. Well, you know, he's, he's a super boss, I guess. You know, he's... He's, he's meant to be the ultimate challenge in the game. I, I guess we can give Miro shit like that. I mean, you know, my pride will take a blow, but I'm willing to accept Bobo carrying like 90% of one of these fights. Or doing the whole thing on his own. That's kind of where it's going. Hormu's an all or nothing kind of guy. You get off a couple of big hits. Not going to be able to do fireball traps. He has a fireball, but not very good. Probably very foolish. Oh. Uh, keep trying to hit him out of things when it's never a good idea from Super Akuma's hit priority, you know? But you're consistently getting more than half. Damn it! I was. You're trying oh. for a super combo. Oh, <laughs> well, he's, he's not done with you, anyways. He's gonna <laughs> teabag your corpse with super fireballs. Like, fuck you, you took off almost a third of my health. Just look, at the Just look at the expression, he's so gleeful about nothing damaging him. I probably. If I hadn't tried to get fancy at the end. But it wasn't really about trying to get fancy. I figured that would be like oh, one big hit to, to finish. Yeah, you yeah. needed a big mm. jump. Jump and damage. Jump and jack, Jump and jack damage. That's right, folks. I just exhaled at the uh, <laughs> at an AV strike connecting. It gets pretty gets tense. Super Damn you! <laughs> He's fast enough that he can also just run up to you and do shit like that, which is just really annoying. I guess his. I guess it's up to me his, his to let us. His leg that was hanging yeah. below should have been stabbed. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. Panto. I'm in Bobo. <laughs> I find. See, I put in a Bobo effort. Now, if he can match his previous efforts, we got it. He's given me quite a few opportunities. Oh. This is the first time I've actually handed Bobo a real good shot. And of course, gonna blow. No, Kuma's going into his. I don't think so mode. Super Akuma, don't play that. <laughs> Uh, I should have done that. Yeah. No, I no. I mean, it's, it, he, I've, I've had about four handoffs from Bobo. He he has the right to drop one. And yeah. it wasn't a handoff. It was like uh, he had a third of his health. Just look at the expressions of oh, his expression is different now. Yeah, they're flashing it's back and forth between, between the Capcom and the SNK. Yeah. And Capcom. Oh. The SNK one is a little bit more realistic, I think, because if you remember the old um, like Capcom Samurai style. Showdown cabinets. Yeah. Like, it was just this oddly sort of, like, not photorealistic, but, like, definitely there's no, like, cartoony art style to it. A realistic photo of you. Man, anyway, but... <laughs> maybe that's what people... Maybe people look like cartoons back then. You piece of trash. Eat me! Get wrecked! I'm happy you got in a throw. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> there are plenty of opportunities where you feel like, ah, I should have been able to get one in there, but 
it's not really going to happen. This is the video for folks. If they like to see us struggle and they like to see us fail, you'll have a lot of that on the screen. Um, unless, you know, at any moment we could just stumble into success. But, uh, just as likely at any given moment. I had, to, I had this bait thing that was working to my advantage. Double KO. So how does that go? Pretty sure that means Super Akuma wins. I think he's earned the benefit of the doubt from the judges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they okay. don't give him a brag, I won screen, but they're still like, you didn't really beat him, did ya? <laughs> Super Akuma, would you like to continue? <laughs> Super Akuma, I feel like you've gotten some credits out of this. Uh. Suck up that dark energy, buddy. Just like boys I was pretty happy with how that 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 uh, opened, and then this happened. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you, <laughs> you get a good one in, and then you're like, oh man. You do seem to now. Yeah, you've, you've. I feel like you've you've gotten out of the habit of necessarily just using AB strikes all the time. Well, you use them in the air. Yeah. But uh, you got a position right. Yeah. That. Uh, I mean, the problem with, with Homer oh, is his other stuff doesn't really do that much damage. His supers are pretty much worthless. Ah, uh, well. I see. The thing is, like, you can at least his uppercuts seem to connect on your chin for yeah. a change. Like, you Capcom uppercuts usually are just about doing an uppercut motion while you thrust deep into the enemy's body. <laughs> it's pretty much like gut punch. Yeah. Look at the expressions of their faces. Here we go. Let's Here start go. Let's look. All right. Looking, looking, okay. That's pretty Kuma expressive. Kuma looks kind of angry. Like the guy looks kind of amused. Oh, I'm liking this. Uh, but, um, chapters of Deceit. I'm liking this. Okay. You might get a dizzy out of this. If you do, throw a fireball or trip I was gonna distance. say. <laughs> Like, get a dizzy, Not don't do a damn thing with it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, don't try for anything bigger than maybe a, something you would use as a spacing kind of attack anyway. Oh, yeah, there you go, there you go. If I can do half as good as... Oh, shit, that was not what I meant to do. Oh! His, his, his uh, tornado kick has a hit priority over the roundhouse sweep. It has a hit priority over, like, the anyway. jab sword strike, too, which it didn't make yeah. sense to me. No, no, I don't think like that. Damn it! I know that he's supposed to be invincible on the way up. I didn't realize it was the way down, too. Fuck me! Oh, I'd get, like, maybe four solid hits and we had it. So yeah, folks, this is going to be, the, that's what this video is going to be. Um, this is the end, beautiful friend. The end. And this was a part of my memories of this game, too. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Getting increasingly frustrated uh, to the point where, I don't know, it's just like, you want to start over and play as another team and just beat up, no! beat up Jobber? We must. Yeah. We did probably give up once or twice, but for the most part, we keep well, Sometimes it would just get really late. Yeah. It very often got really late. Even that wouldn't have been enough to win either. Ugh. Oh. I don't know what it is exactly, but Super Kuma is using a group. <laughs> oh, a group fills up pretty fast. Right, he didn't kill you right after you. Sure. I mean, 
No, I got it. I I didn't use a whole lot of super combos actually heading into this. I yeah. wish I had now just that I knew which one the was which. The cannon ones. Like, those are pretty low risk in terms of super combos. Well, you can look them up, but yeah, they're usually pretty low risk. The high tiger shot, low tiger shot. Yeah. AI's not great at dodging them either. Even like super boss AI will sometimes hop into those. Yep. Yeah. Just get blocked. I sort of got corner trap there, and that's there's not very much you can do. No. I mean, there are I mean, that you can do. Obviously, there's there's you know there's that's... people who know these games yeah. and like they can use alpha counters and stuff. I pretty much play with these stuff that you can do in Street in Samurai Showdown 2 or Street Fighter 2. Damn, I tried for an AB. Yeah. Probably a mistake. Yeah. How did he hit? Oh, did it again? Bad than out of the controller. All right. No, but that's that's one of the things that's frustrating about fighting Super Akuma or Shin Akuma or whatever yeah, it is you want to call it. Whatever you want that S. Suck ass Akuma. Yeah, suck Akuma. Um, check it out. Check it out. Suck Akuma. Some may, that's really some clever. Some may say that. Check it out. <laughs> they say check it out. I think a lot do. Certainly, um, Bad Boy Slim. Um, <laughs> but uh, that is one of the annoying things about Super Akuma is that, like, you know, in theory there are counters to any given situation. Like, they don't put it in a place where it's, like, literally impossible for you to recover from a fight against Shin Akuma. But they do make it to a point where it's, like, pretty ridiculous the level of time. Get out of the corner where he's throwing the double fireball sweeps and uh, tornado kick. And he's doing the fireball, stuff. double fireballs and throwing you the instant he lands, and there's, like, no yeah. chance you get to throw him first. Oh, that's Right, yep. And I said I fell back. <laughs> I'm gonna be so late for work. Wait, would that even? If you set your clock ahead, no. If you f ground, if you're supposed ground. to send it ahead, ahead, but you set it. Tiger cannon, back, double forward, and fireball, which I thought is what I. Did. You'd be really early for work. Uh, they're just with punch. It's yeah. either forward or yeah. It's just double with punch. Uh, I must have just been hit. Uh, I must have might hit when I thought I punched. Yeah. Well, that could happen. It's kind of easier in video games than real life. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, you can just not actually do it. Wait. I that think that we just lost, the lost. We just lost, lost. Sorry, I threw our groove off. Um, or I threw off my own groove. Which is part of why we would <laughs> Some would say that it was luck. Check it out. Some would say that luck has checked you out and found Some you wanting. Some would say it was luck that allowed Akuma to win, but they really haven't been paying close attention to these prior matches. <laughs> Some would say that luck allowed Akuma to win, but those people, yeah, they, they, I mean, they're kind of fooling. They're probably on fire down there right now. Some would say that Akuma and Rugal apparently set Osaka on fire. I guess the notion is he's now so powerful and destructive that this fight here is the only chance that the world has to stop him? Or... I believe that's it. Oh. So every time we fail, it's not just that we're no longer Mark and Millennium Champions, but the Earth will soon do. That if I have no problem with Bobo winning this without me, that's fine. Now I'm <laughs> I better fucking win this. I had better fucking win this. Oh god. He'll get life back. He will. Yeah. I'm the best. I beat Super Akuma. <laughs> Nobody else can accomplish what I did. <laughs> so yeah. And we got less than half of the points of our top score. Yeah, mysterious black entities surround dying Akuma. Hey, that's no way to talk about. Oh, why well, they got to be black entities? Uh, but he appears to be—he's uh, spinning into. The, oh, okay, he's dead. Well, that's okay. Death may only be the beginning something of a new life. that. Yeah. Okay. Oh well, I guess so. It's nice that uh, somebody uh, hooked an electrocardiogram up to him <laughs> after the fight, though, so that we can tell. Oh, poor Super Akuma doesn't get a five-minute break. <laughs> 
We should get a 15 minutes to go and have smoke. Well, what about Sagat and Huomer? If we just ignore the many, many, many tries it took, they just defeated them. Sagat almost on his own. Next on the news. Based on police reports, there are five casualties reported. What? Yeah, five people died. And uh, the tournament has decided to donate money. The cause of the explosion has not been identified. But the tournament's giving money, guys. Tragically, they, see, and I was wondering when we'd actually get to see this chick. Will this tournament be held again? Let's go to the streets. Your public opinion. Tragically, the death was uh, one of the deaths was Robert Garcia, who shouldn't even have been there. I mean, he failed the training. I'm strong. I'd like to be in the tournament. I'm not one of the five people who died here. Jimi Hendrix is like chibi Jimi Hendrix. When the tournament ended, the samurai disappeared. That it was probably no makes sense. Maybe he went. It was no surprise he were involved with the trouble. So he left. He said that he would find a time portal back to his own time. A new challenge. He's gonna go off to the west and fight cowboys and shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, Genjiro travels to the future. God has proven that the Emperor of Muay Thai rules. <laughs> it's a tra- guy that he bows to. I mean, but oh, and when he returns to Thailand, he finds many new challengers. I wonder if uh, oh, there's no time there's for an Emperor to rest. Well, yeah, these spirits lift him up in the sky <laughs> and tell him you have to continue to fight. <laughs> now I'm thinking like Genjiro ca- travels to his future, our past. Then when he gets there, home, he's already won. It's like, damn it! Now I cannot get the best ending! <laughs> like in Samurai Warriors, I think, 3 and onward, you're, if you take too long clearing the early stages, your rival defeats the final boss, and you fight them, and if you win, you get, like, <laughs> fuck you ending, where you didn't save the movie of the world. So but like at least you don't it, do enough, like, two round to nothing wins or something? Yeah, there's like a, there's a timer, and if you go over a certain amount of time, uh, you don't get to fight the final boss, which, I guess... It's weird because it punishes people for just jamming in quarters, but yeah. the good news is, I guess that means that the entire world's the safety designer. isn't down on you. Take P and Z, and you'll have all your good effects right there. Suzuki, P, Suzuki Goru 2001, that's the sister of the uh, forearm monster. Oh, yeah. From um, well, the end, his end forearms, of, yeah. End of um, Japanese wrestling sensation Q, Suzuki. Satoshi <sighs> Ize, Matayuki Endo. Man, Endo, he's like a gangster rap Rolling star over in Japan. Street, mother, you get in. <laughs> so, Taroki is the inventor of the Asai Moon Salt and also the guy who talks like this. Uh, yeah, does he do that all the time, do you think? Yeah, dude, do. Uh, he, he probably, probably, speaks, probably speaks in Japanese most of the time, <laughs> so. It's Yoshihiro Sudo. Oh, his name is Sudo? His name is Sudo. So, what's his name? What's the name of his uh, trotmobile? <laughs> I know. It doesn't amuse me as, or it doesn't amuse anyone else as much as it amuses me. But uh, there you go. Cool, cool. So, like, I don't mean to sound like racist or anything, but there is just something fun about reading Japanese names and sounding as Japanese again. Suzuki Abe. Okay. It is. I don't know. It's enjoyable. It's like Kabamoto Toshitaka. Well, there's Doctor Seno. That's pretty cool. And Bug the- check team. All SNK staff, all Capcom staff. This is, is this before? And you. Is there's this? all the other stars of Capcom versus SNK too. And then there's me. Is this before or after the uh, Capcom <gasps> SNK play? Skies are merger? clearing. Akuma's coming back from the heavens to destroy yes, us all. <laughs> there's Capcom. Back so it did take, I would, I don't know, but I'm thinking it may have taken longer to defeat Akuma than it took to clear uh, the entire rest of the game. I guess we'll know when we uh, process this video, but yeah. our GP result, like, you, you got to crack 2,000 to even have a shot at being on the top 10 board now, yeah. since this is our, our memory card from the old days. But, yeah, um, but we had this guy, <laughs> this, this Bondage enthusiast guy just showed up and kept on throwing. There was a solo run I did down there myself. Uh, does that stand for yeah, solo JG. JG or Super JG? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it must be Super. You did a you did a one credit clear. That's what the little gold token I think. Made. And that's that's basically why we were trying desperately to overcome. Uh, for whatever reason, we wanted Ryo and King to be up top. We could never beat that uh, Yuri Sakazaki and uh, Athena score. It just wasn't happening. Yeah. Anyway, folks. Um, also, uh, those two are. I mean, those are just good guys for big points because yeah, they at least at the very beginning, you can rack up a lot of points uh, with Zan Rasuken. <laughs> Yeah, which is the uh, and uh, King had a Zanratsu Ken. Yeah, she had a kick that was trap shot. 
Anyway, I don't the... think this quite went as long as the video where we actually cleared the main game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, about the same way. About the same way. So that's it. If these two both took, uh, I'll be quite happy and we'll actually have some videos to post. Uh, either way, um, <laughs> I'm assuming you guys are actually hearing this. And if so, thanks for watching. And um, let us know if you want to see more of this down the road. But I've been the Serious JG. I continue to be Bobo the whole I totally defeated Super Akuma, man. It was all me. Carried the day. <laughs> well.